we start talking about a Super Bowl team in the Philadelphia Eagles? Can we start putting their name in the conversation as representatives in the NFC in the Super Bowl? The Eagles guys do have a Super Bowl team. Let me repeat that for the people that are haters, Laura. The Eagles do have a Super Bowl team. They have a really good offense. Adding Saquon Barkley was huge this offseason. Game-changing per se. A.J. Brown is back off the of injury list, and he is balling. Jalen Hurts, five rushing touchdowns in the last two games. And biggest thing, no turnovers the last three games. Guys, the Philadelphia Eagles have a defense that's, that is balling. They have the offense that is balling. They have special teams not making any stupid-ass mistakes, and they're winning games. If this team, as in the Philadelphia Eagles, win the NFC East, this is a team that you cannot sleep sleep on. When the Philadelphia Eagles win the NFC East, they're going to win a wild card game. When the Philadelphia Eagles win the NFC East, they are going to go to a division championship game, and they're going to win that game as well. This is no team that you can sleep on. As long as they beat the Dallas Cowboys in two weeks and they're competitive versus the Commanders, Rams, and, and like Ravens the following three weeks, this is a team you cannot sleep on. And this is a team that is a Super Bowl caliber team. They have been there. They have done that. Granted, they did not win, but they've been there and they've done that. And let's just say this. Let's just say they happen to be a wild card team. Let's just say the Commanders happen to win the division and the Eagles happen to be a wild card 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 team. This is a team you cannot overlook. This is a team you cannot sleep on. This is a team that their team is going to travel well. Whether they're playing at home or playing on the road, this team, the way they play football, travels well. Defense, running the ball. Guys, this is a damn good team. This is a team that you can never count out. They have been there. They have done that. The defense is good. The offense is good. The weakest part of the Philadelphia Eagles is their weak-minded head coach. And as long as they're playing well, he will not have a breakdown, and the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the East, and they're going to go to the Super Bowl. As long as Nick Sirianni does not have a breakdown, they're going to win the NFC. It's simple. The Eagles are that good. So, guys, let me ask this question. Are the Philadelphia Eagles a potential Super Bowl team? Can we start talking about them in the same breath as a Super Bowl contender? Like the Lions, like the uh, Vikings, right? Like the Baltimore Ravens, the Kansas City Chiefs. Can we start putting the Philadelphia Eagles into that conversation? I'm saying yes. I am saying yes. Wombat Zombat's back in the chat. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? He said, if the Eagles stick to what they're doing... They're going to be really hard to beat. I look, I'm look. i looking forward for Howie to add a pass rusher in the next few days. Not sure what caliber, but possibly anybody. And Wombat Zombat, I'm going to say they really don't probably need to add a pass rusher. As long as their defense continues to do what they're doing, and those Georgia boys that they got, yes, the University of Georgia, coming into Philly, all balling out. As long as they keep balling, there's no need to add anybody. If anything, I would look to add potentially some secondary help, right? But other than that, but I mean, e e e e e even if you think about that, this preseason, we were talking about how much depth they had in the secondary, and there's going to be a potential starter, I think it was going to be Bradbury, was going to be the odd man out. Yes, they had some injuries or whatever, and Bradbury ultimately started, I think, and it's still playing, actually, but... I think the Eagles are a set team. They don't need. To, they don't really need to add anybody. It would be nice to have a renter player for a year, but you don't need anybody. You don't want to bring anybody that could potentially upset that chemistry that they have. And honestly, what what would be hilarious is if they went to the Jets and say, "Hey, we'll give you a third round pick for a Reddick and bring him back." But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. John said, like I said, that Washington game wins the wins the division. Potentially. Very, very potentially. Wombat Zombat says, me being an Eagles fan, they have a team that could do it, but they got to keep getting better, which they are. 
Only time will tell. And that is exactly right. That is the biggest thing about the NFL is you cannot peak too early, right? We're going to talk about the Baltimore Ravens coming up here in about 5, 10 minutes. Did they peak too early, right? Did you get too good too, too early? There are such things as getting hot too early, right? Let's flash back to the Giants and Patriots, right? The Patriots, 17-0, peak too early, and then they whoop, fall flat on the Super Bowl. As long as you continue to get better, 1% better each and every day, by the time playoffs comes, you're going to be 50% better. That's what I tell my kids all the time. We're not here to go from 0 to 100. We're coming here to come into the 0%, 1%, 2%, 3%, 1% better each and every day. When you look back at the scene, you're like, damn, we were there and now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Let's go. Let's go. Laura says, slow it down, baby. Nope, they cannot go to the Super Bowl because we all know the Chiefs are going to go. And I don't want to be rooting for the Eagles, <laughs> but I will never root for the Kansas City Chiefs. So Laura says, not only are the Eagles not going to the Super Bowl, she says, I would never root for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Damn. George Lucas in the chat today again. What's up, George? He says, no pressure, Lion King rules. Detroit Lions are playing some good football right now. We'll be talking more about the Detroit Lions coming up. Wombat Zombat says, Shaquan Barkley is a bigger impact than McCaffrey was for the 49ers, and I can stand on that. Now, I'm, I'm going to take your words, Wombat Zombat, and I'm going to use them, and I said, only time will tell. You, you said that about them going to the Super Bowl and getting better, and I'm going to say only time will tell about Shaquan Barkley's impact on the Eagles and the McCaffrey to the 40, 49ers. Because if you think about this, McCaffrey to the 40, 49ers made them a Super Bowl team, made them Super Bowl favorites, made them the dominant team in the West. And yes, the season's still a little young, right? The se the, the season is in, it is, is in its teenage phase, right? Week nine. And can we say that the Eagles are for sure Super Bowl favorites? We cannot say that yet. Can we say that they are a dominant team in the East? We cannot say that yet. Only time will tell if this impact is bigger than the McCaffrey thing. But if we revisit this this time next season and the Eagles make it to the Super Bowl and then they're starting to the trend again upward the following season, 100%. Because I think the longevity of Shaquan Barkley on the Eagles team will be a lot more longer than McCaffrey on the 49ers. Because I think after this season, McCaffrey is finished in the NFL. Uh, da, da, da. George Lucas says the NFC East is a commander's all day. Okay. Okay. Lions says, uh, John says the Detroit Lions will be re re will representing the NFC. Don't get it twisted, Buck. I'm not saying that the Lions are not going to go to the Super Bowl, but I'm just saying you have to start putting the Philadelphia Eagles into that conversation. You have to get the Eagles into that conversation because when you when you look at it, the Detroit Lions are going to fumble at some point if they don't get a pass rusher. The Eagles don't need a pass rusher. The Eagles have a complete team, and they're getting better each and every week. Now, if you want to put it on a scale, right now the Lions are up, are up here, right? And then the Eagles are down, are down, are down, dead down, down here. Tier one, probably tier three, right? The Eagles are getting ready to jump up there on that tier, tier, tier two, though. After they come out this weekend and they dominate the Jaguars in the following week, they beat down the Cowboys solely on that tier two thing, right? Now they're starting to come up a little bit more. Now they're starting to play teams that are worth their damn, right? The Commanders, the Rams. The Ravens will get them up right back there on tier on tier one. So right now, the Lions definitely cream of the crop, right? Rising to the top, sitting there being beautiful. But here comes some more cream. Philadelphia Eagle cream. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Pew! <laughs> Stupid, I know. But you're right. As of right now, it is the, it is the Lions to lose, right? But the Eagles are coming. And Mark says, Philly isn't beating Detroit. And to be honest, Mark, right now, no. If they were to play the head-to-head -head right now, no. 
the Philadelphia Eagles are not beating the Detroit Lions. However, a couple more weeks of getting hot, getting gelling, getting uh, A.J. Brown back into the mix, getting him to playing shape, getting him to that playing form could be a different story, right? Right now, the Lions are tier one. I, I will give you guys that. Right now, the Lions are the cream of the crop, the best of the best in the NFC. Not the best in the NFL, but best and best in the NFC. But the Eagles are coming up quick. Eagles are coming up quick. Wombat Zombat says, as long as Nick doesn't get in the way, we have a shot. As long as Nick Sirianni does not lose his head and yell some more fans, the Eagles are going to the moon, baby. Going to the moon, baby. And Laura says, yes, they are. I am riding that Lions bandwagon. Somebody get me a beer. Somebody get me a beer. I know it's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but damn it, Laura is jumping on the Lions bandwagon when her Vikings can have a pinch. Oh, Somebody check her account. Is she being trolled? Is she being trolled? <sighs> and Wombag Zombag says, exactly. I'm worried about Detroit Lions peaking too early. Don't shoot the messenger, but I'm going to say, maybe just maybe the Lions have gotten as hot as they can get. Maybe just maybe the Lions have crest, right? They crest, and now they're going to start going boom, 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 boom. Now, if they crest, but then they can plateau for the rest of the season. Okay, cool. But don't, don't um, de descend, right? Do not descend. Do not descend. Laura says, I wore a shirt I had made last Super Bowl that said, that said Niners because I hate that other team. Wombat Zomb Zombat wants to clarify what he said about the shake. One barking this to like CMC says, I should maybe say we'll have a bigger impact. Okay. I can agree with that. I agree. John says only half agree. Typical half cowboy, half cheese fan village people. Man. This is coming from a Raiders fan that is now 